Hey Tinker Nerds, Gigafied here. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to um, install uh, IATKOS or Hazard versions of the Mac installation on VirtualBox. So the first thing that you want to do is grab a copy of either IATKOS or Hazard Torrents. And um, those of you that are familiar with Torrents, uh, should know how to do this. If you're not familiar with that, you can check out this video and I'll show you um, how the basics of how to do that. So you can go to like isohunt.com and just search for IATKOS or um, Hazard Snow Leopard. Um, you want to add Snow Leopard to Hazard because Hazard is a common search term. So we'll just do Hazard Snow. And the file size should be around uh, three and a half to four gigs. If it's anything smaller than that, then it's probably not correct and you may be getting a, a virus instead. Just watch out for that. Um, and you can use like uTorrent or something like that to download it. Again, if you're not familiar with that, check out this video. Um, but uh, once you have it, as I have it here, you want to open up VirtualBox and as you can see I've already done this um, many many times so let me just go ahead and create a new one and start from scratch we'll do next we'll call this uh, Snow Leopard 2 since I already have one you want to make sure the operating system is OS X and the version is OS, OS X server uh, you want to set the memory to as much as you can without getting in the red um, so I'm actually going to put mine at just about uh, 2 gigabytes and then boot hard disk um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one assuming that I'm doing this from scratch I just select the dynamically expanding storage so that uh, the storage doesn't get out of hand um, or if you want to you can just create a fixed size uh, which you can just set it for however big as you want so I'll just leave this at 20 gigabytes um, and you can change the location if you want uh, finish and we'll wait for it to create one and then whenever it's through just click finish and um, then you wanna with it selected click on settings and then click on um, system whenever this starts responding and um, what you want to do is make sure the chipset is set to uh, P2X3 and uncheck enable EFI and uh, the rest of those are fine then jump to the display settings and we'll move this all the way up to what it allows and enable 3D acceleration and for storage select um, empty under this and go to choose a virtual CD DVD drive or disk file and then choose the ISO um, of hazard or IATKOS that you downloaded and click open and now you should just be able to click OK and start and it should launch um, so we'll see what it does okay so um, it goes uh, I just hit enter it will go ahead and start up and this is because it has a full version of the Mac installation disk within the ISO image um, otherwise you would have to use like a retail copy of the ISO image um, but uh, hazard and IATKOS a lot of the torrent files that you find have the full version of the Mac operating system on it which is why um, the files are so large so then you can just uh, step by step go through how to uh, follow the installation process and that's going to take a long time um, this is the IATKOS readme 
and to get the uh, disk visible that you can install on you first want to go to utilities disk utility um, you want to choose VBox hard drive which is the one that we created the virtual drive we created go to erase and then you can call it what you want and then click erase and it'll go through the process of partitioning it and formatting it for use for a Mac operating system and that didn't take long at all when it's through just close out of it it'll take you back to the install um, screen and just select it and click install and uh, it'll go through the installation process and as you can see it will take a while after you install this every time that you start up uh, Snow Leopard you will have to have the ITK OS ISO as the uh, um, as the disk in the disk drive it'll have to be there or else it won't start up so this has to be um, in the disk in the virtual disk drive or else uh, it won't start up and one way to fix that one way uh, to make it so that it starts up at automatically without having to have a virtual disk in the disk drive is to download um, MultiBeast which is uh, at TonyMacX886.com slash downloads and you'll have to create an account and sign in and then you can go to uh, uh, MultiBeast which you would install after you install um, the Mac operating system you'll want to boot into Mac and download this within the Mac operating system and install it and once you do I'll show you what this looks like um, this doesn't have anything in the disk drive and this is what it looks like so uh, finely tuned to run on your Hackintosh and then it will start up a uh, Mac without having anything in the disk drive so that's the basic tutorial I hope you guys got a lot out of it uh, and for more tutorials go to tinkernut.com